All right, we're going to solve systems of equations using the elimination method. So the steps for the elimination method. The first thing that you're going to do is find or make a zero pair with the x terms or the y terms. Then you're going to combine terms, solve, substitute in the new value, solve again, and then do your check. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this is going to look at look like. So we have <clears throat> the first thing that we are looking for are zero pairs. So I have a 5x and a 7x, so those are not zero pairs. And I have a 5y and a negative 7y, those are not zero pairs. So I know now that I'm going to make zero pairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to see which one of these terms would be the easiest to make into a zero pair. This one is, all, the y is already positive in the first equation, and it's already negative in the second equation. So that means I already have the signs ready for the zero pair. I just have to get the values to line up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first equation by 7, and I'm going to multiply the second equation by 5. Now notice, brother, sister rule or the balance rule, that whatever I do to one term, I'm going to do to all of the terms to keep the equation balanced. So when I multiply, I'm going to get 35x plus 35y is equal to 245. And then I'm going to get 35x minus 35y is equal to 175. So now you can see the zero pair that I've created. Positive 35y, negative 35y. So those are going to zero pair out. That's going to leave me with 70x, I'm going to combine these two like terms, and I'm going to combine 245 and 175 to get 420. Divide by 70, divide by 70, our x value is going to be 6. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to find our y value. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put 6 in for my x. And now I can choose either one of the original equations to find y. Now when I'm looking at the two equations, the thing that I'm looking for are <clears throat> um, small numbers and no negatives or subtraction signs. So I'm going to use the first equation up here to find my y value. So I'm going to go ahead and take 5x plus 5y is equal to 35. I'm going to substitute in my x value. So 5 times 6 plus 5y is equal to 35. 30 plus 5y is equal to 35. Use my commutative property of addition. So 5y plus 30 is equal to 35. Zero pair out the 30. 5y is equal to 5. Divide by 5, divide by 5. y is equal to 1. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check that. So I'm going to take each of the original equations and use that ordered pair and see if it works. So I'm going to take 5x plus 5y is equal to 35 and I'm checking 6 1 so I'm going to do 5 times 6 plus 5 times 1 and I'm going to PEMDAS so 30 plus 5 35 and of course the right side doesn't need to be simplified so 35 equals 35 so it works in the first equation now I'm going to check it in the second equation. 7x 
minus 7y is equal to 35. Again, I'm going to put 7 times 6 minus 7 times 1. I'm going to PEMDAS 42 minus 7. So add a line, change the sign. And that's going to give me 35. And of course, the right side doesn't need to be simplified. So the check works, so I know that this is my solution. Now, another option that I would have, so I'm going to put over here, option B, is if I wanted to zero pair out the x's first. So if I want to zero pair out the x's first, I'm going to take my 5x plus 5y is equal to 35, and my 7x minus 7y is equal to 35. And if I'm going to create the zero pair with the x's, then I'm going to multiply the first one by 7 again. And again, I'm multiplying the x, the y, and the constant by 7. But the second one, I'm going to multiply by negative 5 because I want to zero pair out the x's. So I would have, for my option B, I would have 35x plus 35y is equal to 245. But then I'm going to have negative 35x plus 35y is equal to negative 175. So here I would then go ahead and zero pair out the x's. I would have 70y is equal to 70. Divide by 70, divide by 70, y is equal to 1. So I can choose whichever method or whichever numbers I want to multiply by. In this case, I had to multiply both equations by a number in order to get a zero pair. So now let's take a look at this next one. All right, this next one, I have a 3x and a 5y equals 32, and I have an x plus 2y equals 11. Now, I don't have a zero pair with the x's, and I don't have a zero pair with the y's, and everything is positive. So what I'm looking for is the easiest way to create a zero pair. Well, the easiest way to create a zero pair is to multiply by negative 3. If I multiply by negative 3, I'm going to have a zero pair with my x's. So I'm going to multiply the x by negative 3, the y by negative 3, and the constant by negative 3. So I'm going to have 3x plus 5y is equal to 32. Don't have to do anything to the first equation. When I multiply, I'm going to have negative 3x plus negative 6y is equal to negative 33. Now when I zero pair out those x terms, I'm going to have negative 1y is equal to negative 1 because I'm going to combine 32 positive and negative 33 and have a negative 1. I'm going to write in the negative 1 there to remind me I have a negative 1y. Divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, and y is going to equal 1. So I have my y value. All right, now I'm going to take a look at my two equations and decide which one of these equations is going to be easiest to find the x. Now remember, I have to use one of the original equations. I can't use anything that I've multiplied by. So I'm going back over here to my original equation. So I'm going to go ahead and use the second equation to find my x. So I'm going to do x plus 2y is equal to 11. I'm going to go ahead and put x plus, and then I'm going to put the 1 in for my y. x plus 2 is equal to 11. 0, pair out the 2. x is equal to 9. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check. I need to check that. This ordered pair makes each of the two statements true. So for my first check, it's going to be 3x plus 5y 
is equal to 32. And remember, I'm checking 9, 1. So I'm going to do 3 times 9 plus 5 times 1 is 32. 27 plus 5, 32 equals 32. And all I did, again, when I checked, is PEMDAS. X plus 2Y is equal to 11. 9 plus 2 times 1. So 9 plus 2, 11. And I've used PEMDAS, again, to check and simplify. Now, again with this one, I also have an option B. So if I wanted to zero pair out the Y's first, then I would be looking at multiplying both equations. So I would multiply the first equation by negative 2. Again, multiply the x, multiply the y, multiply the constant. And then I would be multiplying the second equation by positive 5. That's going to help me create the zero pairs with the y's. So this will give me negative 6x plus negative 10y is equal to negative 64. 5x plus positive 10y is equal to 55. The y's now zero pair out. And this is going to give me negative 1x is equal to negative 9 when I combine negative 64 and positive 55. Divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, x is equal to 9. So you can see it doesn't matter which variable you choose to zero pair out. What's important is that you make sure that you do zero pair out either the x or the y, and then you use that value to substitute into the equation that's going to be easiest to find the other missing variable. So now you know how to solve systems of equations using elimination.